Good morning, my amazing Disney family. Today, we are going to be in the Grand Cayman Islands. We are pulling up right now. It is a little bit choppy out there. The, the waves are kind of moving. It's a little bit windy, but we are about to be there pretty soon. It sounds, I don't know if you can hear the howling, but it sounds very, very windy out there. But we are about to be there pretty soon. The one thing about that's different about this particular destination is that we're actually going to be tendering off of the ship. So basically what that means is that the ship is going to basically anchor itself in the water still. Like there's not going to be a port that we're going to be pulling up and a little other ship is going to be like a tugboat is going to basically come in pick us up and then drive us to the actual you know island and, and where we can go and explore so you do get a little piece of paper that is going to explain to you how it works the safety measures and all the other stuff that you'd want to know as far as that goes so that way you're you know prepared of that and, and you have everything as far as what you would need and what's going to be going on for the day so that's pretty cool to have but yeah it's pretty awesome last night was a great night if you didn't see that video go ahead and check that out we had such a great time in Cozumel Mexico I'm looking at doing the ATVs and stuff and today is going to be about exploring Grand Cayman Island for a little bit and seeing that and then we're probably going to come back to the ship and hang out here and and do the census spa and do all of that but yeah so today's going to be just one of those days where we just go with the flow and show you around I can't wait to see what today brings so Let's go do this. So I'm gonna do a what's inside of my bag to help you if you're new to going on cruises or anything like that and you're wondering like what should you bring when you're going ashore. I'm gonna give you all the things that we bring that we find is essential and would really help. The first things that I wanna point out which I've already kind of talked about but are super, super important and I wanna keep saying it, you gotta bring your keys to the world with you. This is super, super important because this is the only way you're gonna be able to get off the ship. They scan it to make sure that it's you, then you're able to get off and then when you come back Back in they scan it to make sure that it's you again that way they know how many people are missing or not as well also bring your identification you got to bring your passport if you are 18 and above you have to bring this but I would just say bring it for everybody because you just never know another thing if you have uh, the Disney magic bands bring those as well also have all of my battery chargers I have this little like pouch thing that keeps all of my battery chargers my memory cards in a nice space because even though this is amazing to put everything in it can be very very unorganized and I hate that when you're trying to find something really quick you know maybe you need to swap out a battery or your memory card gets filled up it's important to have it organized um, on there what I'll do as well all the different items that I have that you could potentially use I'll put the link in the description below to all of these different items that I have so that way you can potentially get these for yourself if you're interested as well another thing that I think is super important is some kind of pa um, battery charge portable battery charger this is so ideal because you do not understand how many times I've come close to having my phone completely die and it is so important to have some way of me being able to tell what time it is and where you're at and also if just in case something happens you need to have your phone on you so that way you can make those calls whenever you need so definitely have some kind of power bank another thing hand sanitizer can't stress this enough you're in a new place you're in new areas that see millions and millions of people probably so there's so much germs and stuff like that around definitely make sure to have something like this handy on you this is what you've probably seen the new trend everybody's getting the spray on one which is really awesome smells really good and it is also so very convenient for you to put into your bag from there. Some other mentions, I would definitely recommend having an extra pair of like sandals just in case if you wanted to put your feet in the water, you don't have to get your primary shoes dirty. Bringing your bathing suit, your sunscreen, chapstick, things like that that you are pertaining to you, definitely just put it in your bag. I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't use it, you don't use it and then you can, you know, next time not bring it with you, but just you never know what you're gonna need and all those things are super important, especially sunscreen. I would definitely recommend as well if you haven't seen our last video to get some kind of like bug spray you shouldn't be getting bit as much as we did because we went into the actual jungle but you just never know we got completely hammered by so many different mosquitoes so that's something that I would recommend having here but hopefully that helped you guys if it did if you have any other comments as far as what you'd want to bring on with you onto shore comment it down below I'm very very interested because I personally love to hear different ideas and stuff like that so let's go do this
so that was pretty easy. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't. I thought we were going to have to like kind of like jump onto the ship. I don't know why I thought that, but it was pretty easy. There was a nice ramp that had enough like grip on there. So I definitely, definitely recommend if you wear your Crocs, it would be more than enough to have good footwear to get on there and off. But this is pretty cool. We're actually on the tugboat right now, and then we're going to go over to the island and explore it. But it was very, very easy. I honestly would recommend potentially getting here a little bit later than usual um, because we just literally got right on. We walked through, they saw our IDs, and then we walked down the stairs and walked out like we were normally on any other normal port. So I would honestly recommend going a little bit later because I'm sure it would have probably been super, super busy right in the beginning. So yeah, but yeah, so we're just waiting now to, to take off and then we'll soon be on the actual island. Okay. We actually are sitting in the front. This is pretty awesome. This is cool. It's so funny being from the States how driving side's on the other side of this. Like this is usually where we would be driving back at home. so interesting like driving especially because you're on the opposite side so it is interesting but this is this is so nice but he did as he did say you can go to the coral beach but he said that it's better to go to the seven mile because it's free i think the coral beach is you have to pay for it um to go here but he said it's better it's bigger it's free um and that's what we're doing. so we'll tell you about that and let you know So that was pretty awesome. So it's actually six dollars per. Oh yeah, chicken. It's actually six dollars per person on the actual taxi. So ultimately, what you want to do is bring some money with you to cover that. Uh, but as of right now, it was six dollars per person. It's only one way, so you would have to pay another about six dollars per person back, and then go from there. But uh, yeah, it was an awesome ride. It was easy, quick, simple, and. Um, we got here, so now we're just gonna kind of explore the beach and just walk around and see the Seven Mile Beach. Hello, thank you. Awesome, awesome, perfect. I know I literally told you guys all the things you need to pack in your actual bag, but of course, in typical Tynel fashion, I forgot not only my sandals, but I also forgot my bathing suit. And why would you come to a beach? Because you go into the water, right? But of course, no, I just have to make things difficult for that. So we're just gonna walk around and just show you guys what it looks like and just kind of vibe out and go from there. But don't be like me. Long story short, make sure you bring your stuff because you need it if you want to actually go into the water.
right, so we are actually gonna be heading back now to the ship. I know it's kind of a little bit short. We didn't really do a lot because of course, Tynell forgot all this stuff. So let that be a lesson. You're gonna, I'm gonna tell you all the things that I do wrong so that you don't. I was just rushing and I forgot my swim suit and I forgot my sandals, so, um, which is what you kind of need in order to do the activities in water and stuff. But I really did want to come out here for you guys as well to just show you what you can come out and do if you wanted to get on a beach. Again, about six dollars per person so if you do it there and back it's gonna be twelve dollars per person and you can also rent some chairs here they have a bunch of people who are gonna come up to you and ask you if you want to rent some chairs I don't know what that is but if it was going based off of what the prices are for this it's probably going to be about the same price twelve bucks or so but yeah you do also have like local food vendors that are along the way that you can go ahead and go and grab some different food if you wanted to as well um, but we're gonna head back to the ship and then we're gonna actually go into doing the census spa we're gonna probably go into the adult pool and just kind of have a second half of a ship slash grand canyon day but i hope you guys got like a little sense of it i'm sorry if it's not a lot that you wanted to see on the island but we're gonna go ahead and head back and then pick it up from there and show you what we're doing on the actual ship definitely feel that because when I was here I literally felt like you were on a, a, a safe environment Very you know safe. we were just talking to Yaya and she's amazing honestly like she was just talking about all the different things about this island one thing is that there is no crime here at all like she was saying that the cops don't even have any weapons they have batons and there's no drug dealers there's no anything no type of crime at all like they everyone's here will help you they'll take you places if you need to go like even right now we just saw her. so she stopped to get gas for the van and she filled it up and then she's like oh I have to go inside and pay for it so in the States we don't do that you have to pay for it before you could actually get the gas but here you can get the gas and then go inside and pay for it that's like how trustworthy they are and how everyone is just safe and trustworthy so I would definitely recommend if you wanted to explore one of the islands or one of the destinations that you're at you would definitely use it for this one because I can even tell you and Amanda can tell you when we were driving you could feel that it's so safe and secure and like the people are just so welcoming even the people who are trying to sell you stuff they're not like up on you like trying to get you to sell stuff they just say hey do you want to go here and we're like no okay no problem have a good day and like that's it like that's everybody like they'll be like hey we're here if you need us if you want some food whatever she even offered to get us something inside she was like do you want a soda do you want a beer do you want water <laughs> we're like no we're okay but it's just awesome so i would definitely highly recommend if you wanted a, a destination to explore you know you didn't want to go the traditional ways as far as going on different excursions and stuff definitely use a grand cayman but uh yeah this is awesome that's that was so cool Bye. back right. <laughs> thank you so much jenny come see here if you want to come get a ride back and forth to the actual port and to the um seven mile uh beach that's jenny awesome Evans, taxi number 33 yes she's amazing awesome thank you so much jenny i appreciate it so we stopped in the store to just go shopping for a little bit and look at the sun <laughs> nice to see nice to hold once broken consider it sold <laughs> <laughs> But we got some, stopped and got some little Cayman Island merch from there. So that was pretty awesome. That was such a good time. We had fun talking with her and she was just explaining how awesome this island is. Like there's so many perks of this island and you know like free education she was saying for the kids all the way up from kindergarten until the first year of university she was saying you know everyone's just so nice so polite they take care of each other there's no crime at all it's amazing there's so much more that she was talking about that was so awesome like i really did enjoy that ride back because we really got to learn more about the cayman island and understanding you know the culture and what it's about but now we're gonna head back into the ship and then uh, take it from there <laughs> I appreciate you. Have a great day. <laughs> All 
all right so it's a little bit of a fiasco just as a little tip when you are walking through the actual area what you want to do is stay away from the big big lines because those are more for excursions and then what you want to actually do is head all the way to like the left there's, and then you'll see the Disney Cruise Line you're just gonna check in there and then you'll head back on the actual ferry to um, get over but it was a little bit kind of confusing because we thought we were in line for it but it was actually excursions from there but it was awesome now we're about back on the ship and uh, we're gonna probably have lunch and then explore the ship If you put one fin on that boat, are you listening to me? Don't touch the boat. Nemo! You touch the butt. All right, so we just got back to the room. I absolutely love going on different excursions and exploring and just seeing all the different places, but I love even more that feeling of going back to the ship and getting upstairs after a long day and just decompressing and relaxing and just figuring out what you want to do next and whatever going with the flow like that is just so ideal for me but we made it back to the room now it was awesome we got all of our stuff for pirate night which is going to be awesome tonight as well another cool thing too is if you're on a seven day cruise you do get an exclusive offer to have your clothes washed and folded it has a maximum of 30 pieces that can be washed and folded so if you needed to get something washed and you really were looking forward to that or if you really needed that you can go ahead and put in exactly what you want it to be washed also what you're going to do is you'll fill it out to put how many of them there are so that way they make sure that they have all of that for you and yeah i thought that that was pretty cool but it's only valid for tomorrow so the next day so once you get this you got to get it done as soon as you possibly can but i thought that was pretty cool because i know a lot of us because it is a longer cruise you may want to get that done from there plan of action is that i'm gonna go and get lunch um because i didn't have breakfast this morning amanda did have breakfast this morning and she's gonna go ahead and go swimming at the pool the adult pool and then we'll probably end up going to the census spa and going through the rainforest again and getting usage of that as well but it was an awesome day i had fun exploring the island it was amazing I'm sorry if I didn't explore enough um, because we were trying to go on the beach but of course I forgot my bathing suit leave it to me but you know at the end of the day it is what it is hopefully you got enough to kind of get an idea of what you wanted to do again if you just wanted to walk around this is the place to do that so we had a great time and now we're gonna go ahead and move on with the rest of our day So for lunch, I went with the braised beef, the, it is like a mushroom alfredo, chicken, fries, lamb, and pork schnitzel. I have to say guys, this short rib barbecue is amazing. The one thing about Disney Cruise Line is their food is absolutely amazing. No matter what time it is, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, it's all so good. All right, lunch was amazing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and meet up with Amanda and then we're just gonna relax and chill for the rest of the time until we have dinner and until we have other activities to do. So come and join us. So I headed back to the room because I need to get my book so that I can relax by the pool and stuff. But I just wanted to ask you guys, like, what is your feelings towards the actual vlogs and stuff like that? I want to know your opinion. Do you like how they are? Do you like how they're situated? Is there anything that you would wish you would change about them? I know this is my channel and a lot of people say, you know, it's your channel. Do however you want and we just love to watch. But I also want your input on things that you think would have been better. Or if you wish I would have, you know, talked more, talk less or whatever it is. Like it's not going to, I'm not going to take it personal. Like I want to get better and do better because I want to improve myself and improve this channel so that we can grow our family bigger and so that we can have more of you know fun and enjoyment with what what i'm doing and stuff like that but i'm always looking out to be better and to do better so comment down below any advice or tips or any thoughts that you may have had and you know i just appreciate you all and so i'll definitely be reading him and we'll definitely be looking at that but now i'm gonna go ahead and meet up with amanda and then we'll go from there
all right so we're gonna go actually go use the spa today it started raining out we were sitting by the pool but then it started raining so we're in the hot tub use the spa up and just enjoy ourselves out there so we're gonna go do that and i'll catch you guys up after <laughs> because it has been pouring so much here so we're gonna actually go to the deck i can't tell you guys i would live here in this spa if i could but um we're gonna go to the adult only area because all the beds are taken right now we're gonna just relax read your book and chill so i'll see you guys there uh, i'm telling you guys it is so worth doing this it is awesome Wow, it is pouring. Wow. When I said it was raining, it started to pour. It is literally pouring that you can't even see. Celebrity cruise ship was out there. You could see it vividly, and now it's gone because of the rain. Wow, it is torrential downpour. And people are trying to get on the ship, and it's pouring. Look. Yeah, we made a great choice coming now because it is so bad. We would have been stuck on that boat trying to get on here. They people have to get out of the pool now too. It's crazy. Came out here just to sit for a little bit. We might have to go back inside. It is thundering, lightning, pouring down now. It is a rainy day here at Grand Cayman. I do want to point out too, if you're new to cruising in general or in Disney cruising, you want to make sure if you're hearing this noise right here, you hear that humming? That is the wind that's coming through. It's gonna happen more predominantly when there's a storm like this going on. But what, why this is happening is because you have to seal off the door. So what you wanna do is just turn your handle up and now it's completely quiet. So if you're wondering why that's sounding like that and it's like kind of freaking you out or you don't want to actually hear that sound and stuff, just make sure that you lift this up because the moment you drop it down, as you can hear, the wind is just going to come through like crazy. If you like that sound, and especially if you're on a Halloween cruise, you know, you can leave it down. It sounds real spooky at nighttime. It really does. But again, just make sure that you put your handle up and it will seal it off and it will stop that sound. A few moments later. All right. So we are ready for our dinner tonight. It's Pirates Night. We don't have an outfit really. I mean, I don't really have an outfit for that. But they did give us bandanas. If you don't know, they will give you bandanas so that you can wear those if you want to be more a little bit festive. They do have things in the shops that you can buy, but we're not really wanting to do that. At the end of the day, like we're going to still join in and have fun and, and look at all the different festivities that's going to be going on. But yeah, so we're going to head downstairs and get ready for or actually go to our dinner at Animator's Palette. So we just got the announcement that tonight's pirate night, everything that was going to be outside, the fireworks, the whole celebration is going to be moved to tomorrow night because of how bad it is which makes complete sense it is so bad guys like it keeps raining it keeps thundering and it still looks like we have a big storm coming in so it makes complete sense that they're going to move it till tomorrow you might as well make sure everybody's safe and i would rather have it be experienced when it's a nice weather day outside and we can make sure that you know everyone's safe and we can all enjoy it and not be rained on so they're going to move some of the things that we're going to be tomorrow to tonight and there's still going to be some pirate activities that were indoors still happening tonight. So we're technically going to get two pirate nights, which is awesome. Um, but it happens. So if you were ever wondering what will happen if it has a rain delay, that's most likely what they're going to do. They'll try to swap the days out and have it pushed off to the next day. So that way you can still experience it, which is the best case scenario because they could just completely cancel it and we never be able to see it. And we didn't get to see it on our last cruise because it was during COVID still and they weren't doing that. So we definitely want to see that and we will be able to see that we just have to wait another day this one's not happy about that though because we have our dinner at paulo at the same time as the actual thing it's at our dinner's at seven and that's like a three hour 
thing. Right. So that's to like 10. And what time is the, the actual fireworks and stuff? I don't know if it's at 10 or if it's later. Oh, God. I mean, we should be able to make it. It shouldn't be like three hours. It should be like two. So we'll, we'll keep ourselves in optimistic viewpoints or whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but uh, we should be able to see that. But it makes sense. I mean, you can't control the weather. All you can do is adjust, and that's what they did. So it makes complete sense. But now we're going to run downstairs and go to actually finally go to Animator's Palette and get our dinner on. Thank you so much. This is so cool. I was not expecting this at all. So the entire animated palette is converted into Pirates Night. I didn't know they did that. I didn't see that because we didn't do that obviously on our last cruise, but I didn't think it was going to be themed that way, but that is so awesome. Leave it to Disney. Leave it to Disney to go all the way and make sure to have something to do on Pirates Night like this. This is so cool. This is so awesome, guys. Like, I can't tell you guys enough. If you haven't done a Disney cruise yet, you've got to do it because of these little experiences like this. This is amazing. Hands down, this is my favorite ever like theme of any of these restaurants like I didn't know that they did this but like this is so amazing Treasure Planet is one of my favorite all-time movies that I think is slept on and they're doing all the pirates like it's every pirate that you could possibly think of is here almost I think like a lottery to get this on Pirates Night because the theming is absolutely amazing guys mango chutney for a dip is amazing i don't even i'm so shocked by this like i was not expecting this to be what was going to happen when we came here like it's amazing like literally the ambiance and all the different pirates that you've ever seen disney pirates it's amazing you're seeing literally all of them on the screen i don't even know if there's going to be i'm sure there's going to be some kind of like animation or some kind of show and that's going to be amazing to see that i'm just so thrown off in such a good way like this is so awesome to see and even all the different menu items are like a caribbean themed style and they're so good like we're definitely going to be getting a mixture of different ones and i absolutely love this menu if you guys don't know i'm a huge huge pirate fan so this is like my ultimate theme like the pirates of the caribbean ride is my favorite all-time ride and it's my favorite all-time movie as well movie series as well so i'm just in my own element i'm so hyped about this this is amazing what's so cool too is they give you like little puzzles that you can do and this is like a little like shilling that you have to try to like get off so this is pretty cool i'm gonna see how long it's gonna take you to do this but it's like a little maze it's gotten this far the idea is that i have to get this shilling off of this ring and you have to basically, as you can see, get this end out of here on this end. But every time I go around this way, I'm getting stuck. <laughs> ah! Oh, I gotta keep going, I gotta figure this out. So I ended up going with a, I think it's like a beetroot plate. I'll put the actual name on the screen. I'm sorry guys, I'm so bad at this, remembering what I get, so I apologize. But this is really good, it's really refreshing. If you like vegetables and natural like vegetable flavors, this is for you. Amanda ended up getting a samosa, which I'm gonna try right now. Oh my God. If you've ever had a samosa, this, you wanna get this one. I actually might get another one of those. Those are so good. So if you haven't had it, got a little bit of a kick, but it's like almost if you've ever had a Jamaican patty, kind of, I would say it's like that kind of consistency, but it's obviously different than that, but it's so good. That is so good. I'm so happy. This is amazing. I like, this is one of the best surprises on this trip so far for me. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but I'm in my element. Ended up going with a rum drink. I'll actually put the name on it again. I'm sorry that I don't know the name off the top of my head, but I'm gonna try it right now. This is good. Oh, I remember. It was like ginger beer, had rum in it, had green tea in it as well. Really, really good. Let's go. 
All right, for the soup, I ended up going with the carrot soup with banana bread croutons. That's gonna be so interesting to try. And Amanda got chilled mango soup, which is really, really good. It's like basically a sherbet on there. But I'm gonna try the soup right now. Oh. I'll tell you guys, I don't normally like carrot soup, but this is so good. It almost reminds me of like a tomato soup with a hint of carrot in there. I don't know if that makes sense, but I gotta try these banana bread uh, croutons. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That is, all right, I gotta get Amanda, cause you guys gonna think I'm just the only one hyping this, but I gotta get her reaction to this. Do you see yourself? Yeah, I see myself. Try this. This is so good. That is so good. I'm happy to report that. Let's go. We did it. We got the shilling. the rum infused cake and Amanda got the chocolate banana cake banana bread I'm gonna put it all on the screen again I apologize for not knowing that top of my head we're gonna try the rum cake now that is good it's not anything crazy I wouldn't say it's my favorite dessert of this trip but it is decent how's yours let me try this. Oh yeah. Overall, 10 out of 10 experience. Our servers are amazing, of course. Makes the entire experience that much better. There's nothing bad I can ever say, honestly. If it was, I would, but this is amazing. It's a Disney cruise, what can you expect? Nothing but excellence. how greatly I enjoyed that experience. It was so awesome to have that new kind of experience at Animators Pal. I really thought it was gonna be the same thing that we've been seeing and just dressed up as pirates, but it was way better. I love that different type of menu and the different flavors of the Caribbean. It was awesome. So now we're gonna just go back to the room, I think, or go on to the next activities that we have planned for today. So we just came back to the room and we do have our actual towel of the night or blanket of the night, if you wanna call it. And it is a octopus, I think. But right now we're just gonna get changed and get ready to go see the other activities that are going on for the Pirates Night. We're gonna do that and then we'll keep track to you after that. It makes complete sense now why they canceled the fireworks and the pirate party that we were gonna have because it is storming like crazy. I don't know if you are able to see us why I'm facing this way. There's gonna be a bunch of probably lightning that's coming up, but it is storming. Like there is some big flashes of lightning and thunder um, and it's pouring out there. So this is very interesting. This is both of our first time ever being on a cruise when there's a big storm outside. So, um, well, <laughs> You guys actually saw it more than I did. That's just what's been going on uh, all night so far. But we are actually going to be heading to the D Lounge, I think, right now. And we're going to go see about the game show, Pirate's Life for Me. I think we're going to actually head in a little bit early tonight because we have a big day tomorrow. And we're both kind of tired from everything that we're doing, believe it or not. Let's go check that out and then we'll come back and uh, close it out for the night. Start recording. Oh my goodness. Up the entire ocean. Absolutely love how they play the music depending upon what it is. Like right now, it's a bunch of pirate music. Of course, it's Disney, so they're gonna make it a full experience, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, have fun, folks. Short as we go. How's it going? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> how are you? Oh, 
same as with that beat. Aye. Now we've heard that you be the finest potential pirates in all the seven seas. Now pirates need to be loud and proud, so we're gonna do that again. Aye. Aye. My name be Legless Lewis. Go ahead and unleash your mighty pirate applause. Woo! Louder more, come on, I need the validation. Come on, thank you. That's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Then my name be Washed Ashore Warren. Well, respond wildly like the pirates you see you be. And we'd like to welcome you to A Pirate's Life for Me! Where tonight we be determining who here be worthy of joining Captain Jack's infamous crew. Aye, so you be ready to party like a pirate's vegetarian and say, Aye! Aye! All you pirates over on this side will now henceforth and forever be known as the Mighty Powder Monkeys! When I say powder, you say monkeys. Powder! Monkeys! Powder! Pay attention! <laughs> right. You said the same monkeys, so I said monkeys. Thank you. Okay, right. Well, now we have our crews. We begin to find ourselves a captain and a first mate. Now, who out there feels they be captain and first mate? Where are they? Woo! Alright, alright. Johnny Rogers! But here be your Captain Elliot first mate, Eleanor! Yeah. Everyone give up for your Captain Emma and your first mate, Leo Bright. You get your own hat as well. There you go. Feast your eyes on this little lovely right here, which we like to call the Wheel of Destiny! You're a 
children. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what that means. The winner is me, the Potter Monkey! <laughs> we gotta pee, we gotta pee. I told you to use the restroom before we started. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll hold it. Oh, no, that's it. Something else. Can't talk about that. Right. There you go. All right, give it up for your crews as they make their way back to their seats, except for my captain's and first mate to stay right. here. Mighty Bass, how do you feel about staying here like this the remainder of the show? I think we make it. We'll get to go stand on the stage. That's <laughs> nice steaming. I agree. Right, and as a sort of ambiance. Come, this way. <laughs> Let's go. And thusly. 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 What? Not you! Now, yeah. what are you doing? What are these weird jobby you are? It's like you're washed ashore warren. You need to, no, you need to Black. depose to a certain Black. place. Right. There we go. Goodness gracious, what kind of mighty mass Don't has people get on your mass? mass. <laughs> Ready? Your mass. It's time to spin the wheel! Well, for this year game, uh, Captain's first mates, you go ahead and rejoin your crews. They yeah. need you for this we one. Don't we don't need you. Go sit down. Sit down. Go away. No, oh, oh, my mask. Go back to your crews. Uh, yeah, mask, you don't get to go anywhere. Since we won the first game, I think it only be fair that we go first. Of course. What are we doing? What? What are we what doing? What are we doing? Well, I'm now going to explain that. Thank you very much, Watch the Shore Warren. You see here, we've got it. Sit down. How it breaks. Now, what we're gonna do, we are gonna sing. I didn't think I'd do that. Right, we're gonna sing this song, okay? On the count of three. Here we go as a practice. Oh no, no, stress head it! Five, six, seven, eight. Yo ho, yo ho, a higher is life for me. A higher is life is a happy life. Drink it up, big hearty show ho. We rollick and frolic and frolic and life. Drink it up, big hearty show ho. Should hold it for our team since we were victorious. I shall orchestrate. So, hold it nicely. Are you ready? Yes. The slate! Music Maestro! Here we go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Yo, ho, yo, ho, a pirate's hype for me. Hey! Right. I wasn't expecting perfection. But silence! Look, he's, he's, I was following along and they didn't get any of it. What? I, as soon as they started. Yo ho, yo ho. Do you not know this? I know it. I was looking to see if they knew it. So I turned it on oh. so I could try to see if they were keeping pace with the song. Did they? No. Oh. I was wondering why it was only me singing. <laughs> so I was like, I turned the board away from them. <laughs> Here you go. <coughs> You're right. Nothing. Should we of discuss course. behind our soundproof board? Of course. Yes. I can't believe they're still standing there, if I'm being totally honest. I'm going to throw him and just walked off. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have stood there. Oh, oh. Thank you. I I know. I, I would, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Should we just, should we, should we just see if we can keep him there for the whole? Of the entire show. Agreed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. They are still here. Right, then, so, on, tell after them. careful consideration, total deliberation, and a complete disregard for taste, the winners of Yo Ho be the Johnny Rogers! <laughs> this smells so bad. Oh, I don't know why you would put that in your face ever. But, Cat, first face, where'd you go? Get back up here. Come back! Who told you to go I miss you! you. Alright, we have cabs and first mates, we have mighty mass. That's me! That's Very good. Doing well. I just felt like it needed to be shouted. Oh, okay. I missed the sound of your Sometimes voice. Sometimes I just like to yell, That's me! <laughs> it's me time to spin the wheel! Or 
Super Mario. How many more of them you got? Um, Stop. Super Mario Maker. <laughs> How about Paper Mario? Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Loosen my hamstring it up for that stretch, let me tell you. I, I mean, that, one, woo! that one, that one. I'm sorry, that was, that was, that was like grasping a straw. Yeah, Is there even a straw there? Yeah. No. Nope. But now uh, look, we can play whatever you'd like, so long as it's not Pirate Harlarity. Prepare for Harlarity! We said not Pirate Harlarity! Spooky disembodied voice. <laughs> All right. Well, it said it. Now we have to do it. Yeah, it comes first mate. Go back. Get away. Yeah. Shoot. We don't need you. Why you here? <laughs> Get off him up. <laughs> Shoot. See that? Oh. That's me. That's me. <laughs> right now, how this works is myself and Watch the Shore Warren are going to be telling you some pirate jokes. The crew that laughs the heartiest will win the next piece of the pearl. Sammy. Sammy. No, you go. You go. I went first. Beauty before age. Oh, oh thank you. Exactly. I'm saying you're beautiful and I'm old. Go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the, 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 who are you? Jolly Rogers, that's who you are. <laughs> so I don't know if you know this, but Cat looks a, a bit of a fan of a bargain. He looks for a nice little uh, sale, as it were, and he prefers to buy used goods. So his favorite place to shop? The second-hand store! I've not got a joke, a story. Did you know? <laughs> my sister! My sister! My identical twin sister! Oh. Louisa? Yep. Yeah. Used to date Captain Hook! Did Captain Hook know? That's right! <laughs> <laughs> In here, he turns me behind. So, <laughs> so, my identical twin sister used to date Captain Hook, but then one day he called it off. Ah! You know what he said to her? Uh, I'm not that into you? No, it's not you! It's me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Rust me! Rust me! That's right, you signed up for an arm workout while you were here. Get over it. Alright, so let's uh, deliberate who had the more laughter. Behind the, behind the wheel, it's soundproof and all. Is it burning yet? I still can't believe they're up here. Come in, come in, come in. Don't they understand if they decided to take everything off? Just and by that, I mean just the hat and the and the sheet. We would do nothing, like because yeah, there's nothing we can't. We can't can, can physically <laughs> stop them. There's literally nothing. We can just impress them, and yet they're still here. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, we don't, we, we're already in the overtime, let's go talk to the people. <laughs> right! <laughs> They're still there! <laughs> no. No. We just told them they could leave! But they're not listening! They're not, this is now a test of endurance! This is just to see which one's gonna cave first! <laughs> Saturday, by the time they make the last announcement, lovely men in green jumpsuits with a dog are gonna come take you off the ship. <laughs> right. I am no more. I am deceased. Right. Well, the winners of Pirate Parity be the the. Yes. <laughs>
Daisy, hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. It's good to see you. I see you in your outfit. I love it. <laughs> it's so awesome to see you. It's so awesome down there. <laughs> <laughs> We're people watching together. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. There we go. <laughs> telling you guys, you're never gonna get another experience like a Disney cruise. I'm sitting here just watching this awesome performance and she comes by and she's interacting with us this whole time. Funniest part was that I literally thought it was Amanda when she came over. I'm like, did Amanda just change into a costume real quick? Cause she was right next to me and then I was like look, so focused on what he was doing in the, the song cause it was beautiful and stuff. And then I just turn around and I see it. I'm like, oh, it's Daisy. <laughs> the funny part cause she was like, like, like kind of tapping me and like talking. And I was like thinking it was Amanda. I'm like, wait, what happened to her? <laughs> Oh, oh my god, it's so funny. Came to sweet on you, and we're actually gonna get some ice cream to take to the room. Any? That'd be cool. That's me and Amanda in a nutshell. <laughs> I didn't realize it's gonna be this big, but <laughs> if you are with somebody else, definitely probably just end up getting one for each other because this is a lot. But we're good to keep the cup and we'll eat the best as much as we can with this. But we ended up getting two, but we should've just kept this one because it's more than enough here for both of us. I honestly think it was a good value. It was $12 for six scoops of ice cream, five toppings, and you get the souvenir of Mickey. So, or many if you want to do that. So, I think it's a good price for that. All right, so it is now time to wind down and end the vlog here. It has been such a great time. We had such a great day. So many amazing surprises. You know, eating at Animator's Palette and that amazing ambiance and Daisy having her surprise appearance. Just so much fun watching the Pirates life. It just was a great, great time. And tomorrow is gonna be even more fun because we're gonna be checking off something on my bucket list, which is going to be zip lining in Jamaica. So we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna also be doing tubing. And of course, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along in that. So if you have been enjoying this series, so far please make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new here and I will see you in tomorrow's Jamaican adventure mm -hmm.